Is the city mayor aware that the total cost in savings um, achieved by closing the library will be less than 15,000 per year? But will it be devastating for the people? Um, and it will be devastating for the people of Russian mm. um, It seems to be a small cost. Councillor Master. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I think as part of the, the Transforming Neighbourhood Services programme, we have targets to achieve in regards to saving money. Everybody is aware, and it's no secret, we're under some serious pressures in regards to government cutbacks, and we have to tighten up our, our purse. The collective figure that is attributed to each area is part of a, an accumulative total, and the total for Transforming Neighbourhood Services is £1.7 million, which this figure is a part, is attributed to. So it may seem menial to some, however it adds to a collective figure which is reflected across the whole of the city. And in fairness, the offer that um, Rushy Mead is getting on the return of merging both services is, is a good offer. I think it's just about time that the community groups, with elected members, with the users, and most have, to be fair to them as well, started to talk about how we make this offer better for the community rather than going backwards all the time. Thank you, Councillor Master. Do you have a supplementary question? Yes, well, as we've seen today, the um, Glenfin Hospital heart unit decision was reverted, so it can be possible. Councillor Master. Unfortunately, this decision, as I've already highlighted previously, was made in January of this year. So we were waiting on the Glenfield decision. We've had this decision over 10 months ago. Thank you. Question, question number four. Councillor Wilmot. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I'm pleased will the City Mayor agree to include a new library and community centre for Rushy Mead Ward in the capital programme. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. City Mayor, please. Uh, my Lord Mayor, as we've already discussed this evening, and as Councillor Wilmot is aware, the uh, unprecedented budget challenge that we have uh, on our revenue budget is one that is demanding a strategic and a planned res response across the city. And the Transforming Neighbourhood Services um, program has, uh, has looked across the city and has looked at ways in which we can reduce our revenue burden uh, as well as uh, invest in providing facilities uh, that are fit for the 21st century. That is what has resulted from the review of those services in uh, Russia Mead. And the recommendation of that has been very clear that the sensible way forward uh, is one that sees the current library and community facilities merged together and, I have no doubt, made the same success as such mergers have been in other parts of the city. Thank you, City Mayor. A supplementary question? Uh, thank you, my Lord Mayor. Um, city Mayor will have heard Councillor Master's advice to the people here this evening uh, from Rushing Mead that they should give up their campaign and move on. In the light of the tremendously successful campaign um, waged for over a year by the people of the city to keep the Glenfield Heart Unit open, does he not think that the people of Rushing Mead should continue with their campaign and that Councillor <coughs> Master's advice is not very helpful in these circumstances? Thank you, my Lord. City Mayor, please. My Lord Mayor, it's not for me to advise uh, Councillor Wilmot's constituents, but I would advise him that uh, he might suggest to them that positive engagement with Council Master and with the Council uh, in general about the future of the facility might produce the same dramatically improved service and use that has been produced in other parts of the city. And I would encourage him to encourage them to engage positively and to ensure that the capital investment that we are prepared to make in the community centre is used, is used soon, and produces the same results that it has in other parts of the city. Thank you, City Mayor. 